Eagles, the undefeated Eagles, I should say, favored at minus five and a half at Arizona, total at 48. This Eagles team is vibing, they're gelling, they're feeling youthful from what I've heard in all of the press conferences this week, which could be a great thing um, for these young guys to just keep going and, and keeping that mentality rolling. But Kyler Murray is going to be their first really dual threat quarterback that they see so far this season, which which could pose a challenge. So before we hear what you have to say, I want to let everyone know. Um, hey, everyone, don't forget to check out our sponsor this month, BetMGM. Head over to BetMGM. Get a risk-free bet up to $1,000, your first risk-free bet, by using my promo code MearsPNP, um, that they can text 614-810-7522. Text their full name to that number. They get a free, free, mind you, seven-day consensus report to hear what our handicappers are thinking each week, what they're agreeing upon. It's just another really great tool to add to your handicapping toolbox, and it is free. So that being said, Philadelphia, the favorites, minus five and a half, Arizona. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this one, but the Eagles are rolling. So you go ahead and tell me what you think. Yeah, uh, my initial thought with this one, looking at it without even like handicapping it, was the Eagles here laying the five and a half. But, uh, but, but that five <laughs> and a half is a tricky number. And I've noticed when these five and a half show up, that is a dog dominated number for whatever reason. And I've, I've heard multiple people say this five and a half is that tricky number where you got to find a very convincing reason to play the favorite. And I have this game out of Philadelphia at minus two. So I think there's line value here with the Arizona Cardinals. This actually could be one of my favorite plays of the week. I think the Cardinals can potentially win this game outright. And this could be a decent sell high spot with the Philadelphia Eagles. Or, yeah, sell high spot with them. Because uh, they're coming in. They've won four in a row. They should have covered four in a row. Obviously, Detroit backdoor covered week one. So mm -hmm. uh, when, when we look at it here, the Eagles are the tops on everybody's charts at the moment. And I think this could be a decent sell high spot for them here where maybe they're just too big of favorites here on the road. So I think five and a half is a little much. I think this could be a field goal type of game. I'm going to take the Cardinals with the points, and I'll sprinkle the money line probably a little bit in this game as well, uh, potentially for them to win this game outright. So I'm going to go with the Arizona for this matchup here, plus the points. Sprinkle alert. Yeah, I I don't think that's bad at all. I mean, the Eagles on top too, but it's hard to stay on top. Although their run game uh, with Miles Sanders was getting rolling last week. So that's another danger zone adding into their offense. Um, but I don't know. I'd really like to see what Arizona can do. And I want to see what Philly's going to do against Kyler Murray is my bigger thing because they need to be challenged with the dual threat quarterback to see how that tone's going to be set the rest of the season. Nick, thank you so much for your NFL expertise. Best of luck to you. Like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications to all of our watchers and listeners out there. Picks and Parlays Power Hour is live Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern.